Hi, Mirabella residents. It's Air Michael Shannon here. I'm coming at you from the parking lot of the University Museum. This is a bit of an impromptu blog because I wasn't necessarily expecting, well, I thought I might do a vlog today, but I wasn't expecting to go on an adventure. And so I've been on a bit of an adventure and I thought that I'd take you along for part two. So my uh, professor friend, this is the, um, the, the linking theme throughout all these blogs. My professor friend, Dr. Ty McNapney from um, education department, uh, his department, they were going on a, uh, a tour of the university museum, uh, which I heard a lot about from the woman that I'm replacing this, uh, this semester. She told me you have to go to the university museum. It's fantastic. And I just got finished with the tour there and it is incredible. Um, I mean, I think we only scratched the surface of the massive collection that they have there. Everything from, uh, you know, local artists on a, on a fairly regular rotation to the largest antiquities collection in the Southeast, which is absolutely wild. Um, and it's a, it really, it's a jewel. And I, I think that it's actually, um, because it's across the bridge, um, it's not uh, frequented as much as it, as it really should be. Uh, it's an incredible, incredible muse museum. And uh, it also uh, backs onto the Bailey Woods Trail, which is behind me here. And the Bailey Woods Trail um, is a, a walk, about a 12 minute walk, it's like about uh, three fifths of a mile that William Faulkner uh, walked and it uh, is connected uh, at the other side to uh, the historical home of William Faulkner. So I thought I'd take you on a, uh, a walk of this Bailey Woods Trail and update you a little bit on what's been going on. Um, so it says, I was gonna read you this, uh, this little placard here on the Bailey Woods Trail. The scenic wooded trail connects the University Museum behind me home to extensive collections of American art, 19th century scientific instruments, and Greek and Roman artifacts, and Roanoke, the historic home of literary legend William Faulkner. The trail is approximately 3,140 feet long and features numerous changes in elevation. So are you ready? <laughs> We're going on a walk. Um, and uh, yeah, actually, I don't know if I told you the story. I, uh, since we last spoke, um, I went on, in one single night, a double <laughs> new faculty uh, uh, happy hour. The first one for um, new faculty across the entire university. And then the second one was specifically for music faculty. And um, yeah, they were fantastic events. I met a lot of really cool people, including at the time I didn't realize <laughs> Diane Faulkner, the granddaughter, uh, William Faulkner, who is a uh, 30 plus year veteran music education. And, uh, and so I was talking, she's speaking to her for a while and she said, where are you from? I said, oh, I'm from uh, Southwestern Ontario, Canada. I said, oh, are you from this area? And she goes, Michael, I was born in Oxford, Mississippi. My family is from Oxford, Mississippi. She goes, my name's Diane Faulkner. I don't know if you know who I am. <laughs> so, ooh, I probably should have known that. But uh, now we're good friends. And, uh, you know, music faculty, we got to stick together. So anyway, oh, I'm so sorry. This, this, um, this stabilizer isn't really stabilizing much, is it? It's kind of shaken. I'll do my best. I'll try to stabilize it myself. It's supposed to stabilize, but anyway. So it's been a really busy busy week it's gonna be i think just pretty busy from now to the time that i finish um we've been heavy into rehearsals for the scenes program which is coming up on well we have two performances one october friday october 20th and then october 20 wait 20th the 20th whatever the friday is that october and then on the sunday it's on the on mirror net anyhow, and it'll be live streamed. And I'm really looking forward to it. Um, we're starting to, I mean, we've staged everything now, all the music rehearsals, you know, the major music rehearsals are finished and people are really coming along, you know? Now's the kind of a crunch time next week. 
we'll start to run some scenes all together. And um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. Um, let's see, besides that, man, last week, um, I missed a really important game, I guess. Um, Ole Miss against LSU uh, was huge. Ole Miss won, and it was just apparently like the the whole school kind of special moment for the university. One of the faculty, new collaborative piano faculty, went on a trip to Memphis. I don't regret it because I had a great time. So I went on a trip to Memphis with uh, Yu Jung Kim, new collaborative pianist, fantastic because this new guitarist was so good and they really liked kind of the jamming that they were doing. That was really exciting. Memphis too tomorrow if I want to go. So since Memphis, maybe I'll just sleep in. PM tomorrow. And then on Sunday, I got to practice because I've got the scenes program coming up. I'm coaching for the program that's happening uh, for the Serra Padrona at the end of November and five full recitals that I'll be playing in order and there's not feels like it's, uh, every day is filled with new adventures and new challenges and um, looking forward to getting back to Mirabella I think I it's the 26th and yeah I'll be there all weekend long I'm leaving on Sunday I think Sunday afternoon but uh, so I'll be there for October 26th then and again at the end of November for a little bit and then before you know it two big shows and five recitals later I'll be back with you guys full time so as much fun as I'm having here and I'm just sort of enjoying every moment because uh, you know it's just gonna fly by, you know, just like that. Right now, I'm still in the phase, you know, where it feels like um, there's so much time, but I know, I know how it works. It's like, you know, it feels like a long time and then you blink and then it's gone. So, um, yeah, I'm really enjoying this. This is a, such a beautiful walk. This is incredible. I'll hit the home, Roanoke, um, and I might take you guys on a tour of um, the Oxford School. Uh, yeah, because I want to show you guys a beautiful, historic, old Oxford Square. Some really incredible uh, shops, including three beautiful bookstores. Um, and I'll give you a little...